Hey, we're here in Orlando, and I ran into Jordan St. Cyr. Come on. Nice meeting you here. Oh, great seeing you. We're here for a radio industry conference with tons of artists here, and Jordan, fellow Canadian. First of all, they put their redheads in the sun. Like, <laughs> how, I know, right? How dare they? We can't do this. <laughs> I'm not made for this Florida weather, you know what I but mean? But you're made for Nashville weather. You moved your family from Manitoba to Nashville just yeah. in 2022. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's been a year and a half. Okay. It's been a year and a half, and we love it. We miss home, so we just tell our kids we've got two homes now. Now, yeah. did you bring grandma? Did I hear that you brought grandma with you? Grandma comes down. We go back home for Christmas. She comes out. She stays for like a month or two, and that has been a, a godsend. Isn't it amazing having a grandparent involved in your kids' lives? Like, I don't know how you do it without, yeah, I, you know? I really feel like it's, um, yeah, it's something that I wouldn't trade. It's a blessing, and it's, the life is too short. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, for me, family is everything. Ministry starts at home. Mm -hmm. This is the overflow that we get to do here at places like Momentum. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, we've obviously been able to pass along prayer requests for Emery. Yeah. Um, so, and then you have two boys too, right? Two boys. Well, two boys, two girls. Two boys, so, two girls. Yeah, okay, that's so, right. So, how is Emery doing, first of all? Give us a little update. And also, what is she into right now? Okay. So, usually every spring, we're back in the hospital with seizures, all this stuff. We were actually back in the hospital this spring, but it wasn't because of her condition. It was because, well, she's a crazy four-year-old. She hit her head on a windowsill. She had to have three staples. No! You know what I mean? So yeah. our girls are really taking that out of us. Yeah. But you know what? Right now she's doing great. We're just, we feel held up by the prayers uh, of those that have just followed our story, encouraged us along the way. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing really good. How do you, because you have four children, but you do have one that needs a little bit of extra yeah. medical care. How do you find that balance? Because I already feel like I have, I only have two. Yeah. I have a three and a half year old and a 16 month. And I feel like the younger one is still so like she needs the attention. Absolutely. But you want to make sure the older ones get it. So what, what is your trick for balancing the attention among the kids? You know, it's, it's interesting because I think when you find yourself in a situation like this, you're like, how am I going to do this? God gives you the, the capacity to handle it. Um, honestly, I say this all the time. Each of our kids speak a different language. Mm -hmm. Just be intentional. Get to know them by, you know, what makes them tick, yeah. speak their language. Um, and you know what? They're, they're good with it. Yes, our, our four-year-old kind of runs the show as any four-year-old would. Yeah. Um, but you know what? The kids are great. They yeah. really are. I love that. Yeah. Um, okay, I want to know, because your songs have ministered to so many people, is there a song that you've written that ministers to you right now the most? Man, that's a good question. You know what? We're in a, we're in a really good season, right? So I've got this new song called Rescue. Yeah. And to, to me, to my wife, this is really our testimony of, you know what, Jesus came through. Like not only, you know, did he, you know, do the finished, you know, the finished work of the cross, everything he's done in the past, but there is a present Jesus that lives in each and every one of us. And so as we walk through what we walk through with Emery and her rare brain condition, those seeds of faith began to blossom and they really held, held us up. And that yeah. promise uh, that he gave us, it just, it was true. It is true. And so... If you're listening to this and you're on the fence of your faith, dig in with him and you'll see those seeds that you plant begin to blossom and hold you up. Yeah. And you know? we all need a rescue. And uh, is there another song coming that's going to have a new word for our listeners? Oh, my goodness. There's going to be new music coming out. Nothing planned yet. So stay tuned. Just be with your family. That's right. And, and tour. Are you touring? Touring. Absolutely. So I'm excited. We, we haven't announced fall tour plans yet, but there are plans in the works that I'm excited to share. Yeah. I mean, he is Canadian, so he will be back. Jordan St. Cyr. Thanks, Jordan. Awesome. Thank you.